It's rather like something out of Kafka, don't you think? Well done. Top marks for that one. No hesitation, but I fancy you may have done this course before. We could have a problem here. It's Corbo. Control to Wentworth. Exercise Dickens. Stand by for barrage. Control to Sterling. Exercise Dickens. Combined exercise to commence in two minutes from now. Stand by. Sorry, I didn't realize oh. there was anyone in the tunnel. Oh, come on, keep moving. But I can't get past. We, I can't get past either. Look, this is stupid. One of us will have to back out. I'm not moving backwards. Well, neither am I. Three, two, one, fire. Ah! Ah! It's a bus. It's a ruddy bombardment. <laughs> Look. One of us is going to have to move or we'll be here for the rest of the war. I'm caught up in the barbed wire, so I think it's going to have to be you.
hell's going on? Who the devil are you, sir? Name's Macklin. I was told to report here. He's on the list, sir. Nicknamed Shuka. Mr. Macklin, you weren't supposed to arrive here until 11.30 precisely. I come up last night. Kipped out there. Brass monkey it was and all. And why did you come up last night? Dodge all this caper. I knew there was something not kosher. Uh, what made you think it wasn't straightforward? He knows, Squire. Never let us down yet. You quite sure it's safe here? I guarantee it, Mr. Macklin. How about if the artillery ain't accurate? The Royal Artillery? Not accurate? Twenty-seven F. I think we have our first arrival, apart from Mr. Macklin, that is. Reporting as ordered, sir. Well done. Take a breather. Shouldn't have long to wait, huh? Reporting for duty, sir. Six still to come. Someone, sir. Good. Yes. My order, sir. You're right. right. I fully understand your concern for a colleague who appears to be wounded. Very commendable in his way. But a test course is not the place for chivalry. This officer cadet is under test conditions, as you are. She has now not completed the course under her own steam. By your actions, you could have jeopardized her chances of acceptance and ruined your own. I just didn't think of that, sir. I'm sorry, Lassie. I make the further point. As from this moment, none of you will ever turn back for a stricken comrade. The job must take precedence. Now, if any of you consider that you cannot accept this inhumane attitude, I urge you, back away from us, here and now. Is that understood? Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sir! Top brass! Day for a shindig, Lieutenant. Where is uh, Exercise RV? Excuse me, sir. Could you clarify? No this nonsense, I'm Lieutenant. I'm from Command. Just uh, looking in on your games. Can you tell the range to stop now? It's all over. Beside, no. Tell the range to stop. I haven't got all day. All right. Drive on. <laughs> Oh, come on, Di. It's better than Rev. It's less... You're a real rogue, Nigel. I tell you, if ever we get out of this alive, I'll have you thrown out of the tennis club. Tennis club? Watch out, Di! Oh. Windsor 7, alert. I say again, alert. Over. Windsor 7, this is Control. Go ahead. Over. Control, Windsor 7, you have a fiery brigadier from command on his way to you, and he doesn't look too happy. Out to you. 
Windsor 7 to Wentworth. Cease fire immediately. Cease fire immediately. Over and out. Almost time. Well, Captain Garden has got our boffin. So one default time. Not so bad, I suppose. It has stopped. It worked! <laughs> <laughs> it worked! They've stopped. I don't understand. They're still a minute ago. Colonel, sir, there's some staff brass on their way. Staff brass? Yes, sir. Reporting as ordered, sir. Well done. May I dismiss my driver, sir? I don't want her to get into any trouble. You and she should have thought of that before practicing as schoolboy japes. She's on her own now. Let's take her chances. Yes, sir. You might add that were I she, I would circle round widely to the left. I wish I'd thought of that. One clever plater is all we need. The bus will be leaving at 1300. Major, would you like to come with me in my car? So. Well done, all of you. Report at the desk on the left inside the main hall. No discussion, if you please. No smoking, if you please. No one to leave the entrance hall. You'll be shown to your quarters after registration formalities. You, smarten yourself up. Move it, move it. This way, ladies and gentlemen, please. Put your luggage down here. It'll be taken up when your rooms are allocated. And uh, would you please fill in these cards for me? No smoking in the hall before five, sir. Colonel doesn't like it. And remove your hat, please. Who do I get a drink, then? Tea is served at five, sir. In the mess. Or right here, sir, as you prefer. And for every single contact, until further notice, you will use only the nickname. Is that understood? Sir. I shall now require you to sign the Official Secrets Act. I've already signed it, sir. At Minching Hampton, sir. Yes, so your report indicates. But I like to keep my own records, just in case things get lost. Sir. Can't do any harm to sign again. Then give your nickname to the desk sergeant. He will issue you with a billet number. And the corporal will show you to your quarters. Tea is at five. Sure. He impressed me this afternoon. Next. Mrs. Robinson? Yes. Rather a need of a wash and oh, yes. brush up, I'm afraid. This is Major Gallagher, oh. who is your group leader. How do you do? And who selected you originally. Oh. My name is Colonel Squires. I'm OC this training establishment. Thank you. You will henceforth be known only by your nickname, Mel. Your true identity shall remain unknown outside this room. Is that understood? Yes, that's quite understood, sir. Now what? All right, I'm walking. I'm walking. Mr. Lovell, your arrival at the rendezvous point left something to be desired. Now, I appreciate that you are a civilian and that we can't expect the same natural reaction from you as from people half trained in the work. Would you mind if I sat down? The Major is your group leader, Lovell. 
Quite apart from military rank and discipline, I should have thought it elementary courtesy to remain standing while he does. I had a highly technical job to complete before I reported for this shindig. I haven't been to bed since Tuesday. I am very tired. Yes, even so, if you're to take part in this exercise and we need your technical expertise, then you will have to become as physically tough and self-sufficient as the rest of the team. You can sleep tonight and every night for the next few weeks, but for the rest of the time you will work as hard as the others. I'm sorry, Mr. Lovell, but that is the way that it has to be. Oh, may one know what it is that you have in mind? <laughs> I can't think I'm indispensable in the kidnapping of Hitler, so that's uh, one possibility ruled out. Now, for obvious reasons, you will not learn of our objective until immediately prior to leaving. In any case, the training is basic and general. Ah, more wide games for overgrown Boy Scouts. Perhaps we think it can save thousands of lives. Even Boy Scouts take a certain pride in that. I understand you gave this to our driver to post. I'm afraid I can't allow you to do that sort of thing. If you write letters, they will reach my adjutant for censoring. We have to be security conscious, Lovell. Surely you were subject to that, even at the laboratory. It's got nothing to do with this place. <laughs> I haven't been here long enough to learn anything. Look, it's just instructions for the poor devil who's taking over my job while I'm stuck here. I'm aware of that. I've already read it. I was going to post it for you, but not in this vicinity. Mr. Lovell, if we doubted your loyalty, you would not be here. Censorship merely tries to annul what we all inadvertently let slip. I'll take you to the desk. I, I can manage myself. Last one. I think we may have a problem with Mr. Lovell. He was wished on me, Colonel. The boffin said he was the best man for the job, and I have to accept it. He has no military background, no, but he will adapt. Yeah. Shall we push the boat out over an hour to go before dinner? No, I wasn't really speaking about his non-military aspect. Unless I miss my guess, our technical expert has a chip on his shoulder. Red brick rather than Oxbridge, and that's a tricky one to get over. And a devout socialist, I'm sure. There's no cure for that, apart from decades of reality. Cynic. Realist, oh boy. Pity we have to keep the blighter. We need his expertise. Say he decides to chuck it. Well, there's not much we can do about that, is there? It's the door on the right, sir. There we are. And there'll be the two of you. It's not so bad. Again? Oh, I suppose there's no reason not to get acquainted. I'm Messonge. Who are you? Mm -hmm. Well, what nickname have they given you? Oh, yeah, that. Uh, Ebu, yeah. I gather we're all birds or something. <laughs> Stupid nonsense. And you, old sport? Shuka. An air raid warning. Oh, no. No, I rather think they're summoning us to dinner. How quaint. Oh, this place. Has to be some sort of an asylum. Nonsense, old boy. Absolutely on form. John, let's see if we get damask napkins and Victorian silver. Oh, do we get the headmaster's address before or after hall? Hmm. Suit yourself. Shall we go and see what's on offer? Oh, dear.
Can have gone was gone, sir. I know, I know. Oh, this place. Good evening. Oh, good evening, sir. No, sit down, sit down. Now, I hope everyone has a drink to hand, because I shall bore you for at least five minutes. <laughs> I have a jolly little course planned for you, which we will complete in crash time, I'm afraid. Not my idea, simple necessity. Classes will be conducted in English, but all meals which we take together will be French-speaking from tomorrow. Breakfast. You will have no leave. Thank you, nor will you leave the grounds without special permission. Now, your course. It divides into roughly three sections. One, a general training programme to bring you up to an acceptable standard. This will include physical training, unarmed combat, weapon training, ours and theirs, use of wireless and RT, combat survival, living off the land, and um, some specialised items which you'll discover in due course. Two, Practical field exercises, including parachuting. Most of these will be under simulated live conditions. All ammunition used will be in the main live. Three, how to resist interrogation and psychological stress. Oh, I said my piece. Major, would you like to add anything? Just two things, sir. Firstly, I'd like to stress the security aspect of your training. While you're here, you'll be under constant observation. Secondly, Watch out for booby traps. Initially harmless, but gradually increasing in effect. They're there to persuade you to be constantly and permanently alert. Well, tonight you relax and become acquainted. Tomorrow and thereafter, be on your guard. That's all, sir. Well, this is your mess. Corporal Moffat dispenses drinks. Thank you for your attention. Thank you, sir. Aren't you staying with your people? Not tonight. Let them get to know each other first. Mr. Macklin. <laughs> now, I have tolerated your early arrival at the rendezvous this morning. And I accept the fact that you feel somewhat out of your element at the moment. It is rather different from His Majesty's prisons. But if you want to return to your cell, I can arrange it very promptly and ensure that you sit out the full term without remission for whatever reason. Now, if you take my advice, you'll go to the mess, join the other members of your team, and let them tell you the upshot of the lecture. It does affect you, you may be sure. assume that Viedo has been telling us the truth and that his plans are accurate. If they're not, we've had it. Well, I don't see why you should lie about it, old boy. <laughs> After all, he's here now, whether he likes it or not. He must know that he's on ice until proved true. If this thing goes fat, I shall personally slit his throat. Where have they taken him? Some jolly little internment camp, Isle of Man, I gather. Not my favourite stamping ground. Never been. Look, shove it away for tonight. Come and have a walk around the grounds. You've got six and a half weeks to sort out the details. And then there's always the chance of a windfall. Is this your key or mine? Yours, old boy. Never part with mine, not even to trustees. An urgent signal for Major Gallagher, sir. He's not in his room. Major Gallagher. Thank you. I think you'd better hear this. 
In the event of launching sites multiplying in the immediate future, it is likely that southern Britain will have to face a barrage of more than 1,000 missiles per day. Stockpiling is estimated to have reached over 20,000 missiles. Photo wreck is stills of suspected launching sites. You can see the burn marks from trial launchings. Photo wrecking and ground intelligence have uncovered nine launching sites. It would be reasonable to assume that this represents something like one third of the true figure. French intelligence reports the guidance mechanism on the FZG-76 is now perfected. And the first batch is expected from the factories once tooling is complete. Estimated time, 28 days. Can we advance? Well, can we? Not by one more day, Major. Not if you want to achieve what we intend. Not if you want your team to survive. The answer is no. Will you send the refusal signal or shall I? And the fourth arm continues tomorrow night at five past twelve. Coming next, Edge of Darkness.